for enough. Mm. Mm. Hey, but that's what a lot of cats act like. Like, I put in work. Like, they was going in, so you had all the old cats start posting up videos from New York when they used to be on the block. Yeah. But then what you doing now, man? It wasn't no, no, no statute of limitations. Like, you get to a, a certain point in, uh, doing the work, and now I'm going to go back into the world until it's time. Then I'm going to dust my garment off, man. But the only reason what hinders you from uh, going as hard as you can for the Lord is the demons that you're dealing with and, and you letting them overtake you because you're not uh, 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 putting on your spiritual armor, man. So it hinder you from getting into the Word. It stops you from doing lessons, man. Have you on the block watching your damn uh, watch ready to go and leave and shit so you can do what you want to do. Mm. You ain't focused on putting uh, serving the Heavenly Father, man. You focus on getting into some other shit, man. So you're not gonna go uh, read it again, brother, because this is when you when you glorify the Lord, man. This is the ultimate. Uh, only, that's is our only purpose, man. Yeah. That was the whole purpose of us coming out of a Gentile state of mind, so we can put off because we was all narcissists and when we was in the world, man. We all worshipped ourselves, man. Put glory in what we can do, chasing our uh, American bullshit dream, man. Because that's what America and Christianity promotes, that free will, man. You ain't worried about glorifying the Lord until so we came into this truth, man. So now we got what we got to do now. We got to go hard, man. Go ahead out. Uh, Ecclesiastes 43, verse 30. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. Yeah, so don't just stick to the minimum, man. If you are, just snap out of it. Pray to the most high and keep pushing, man. As long as you being sincere, man, because you know how Jake like to say, well, I don't want the Lord know my heart. <laughs> Bro. That go for us, man. The most I know our mind, and he know who's serious and who not, man. Yeah. And he shows you through his mercy, man. Because it'd be a lot of times the most I give you a pass on shit, you know, you'd be like, man, I don't even deserve it, man. But that's why you glorify him that much more because he's being merciful to you, man. He's giving you another second to breathe, man. Just ask the Most High for another day for me to fight so I can show you and, and approve myself to you. Yeah. yeah, man, you gotta go hard for the Lord, man. But uh, real quick, I got a precept. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, or Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 22. I mean, it's like it, uh, verse 21. Be not confident in a plain way. And you can't be like that in this truth, man. Okay, they're satisfied with their doing. Okay, I, I did my little, you know what I'm saying? She I did my little video. I'm good. Which, uh, that's good. But uh, what about all this shit going on around? You can't say nothing about that? Yes, you can. I mean, you can't go a little harder for the Lord, man. Right. Bro, all this shit going on, you tell me that you can't do more than three videos? She bullshit. It should really fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 should, it should be. If you do it, if it happened, yeah. you should be like, fuck, man. Hey, I got to get on my shit. Yeah. I got I to gotta, I gotta put it in this work, man. Yeah, man. It says, be not confident in a plain way, man. Okay, because, bro, look, bro. The spirits are high, man. Earthquake shoes. A turkey bonus shot out of Syria. Okay, Russia getting mad at the uh, uh, U.S. Okay, Iran pissed off. Yeah. Things are heating up quick, bro. Okay, Donald Trump cutting off food stamp. People, look, y'all better stop playing, man. Please get out that, um, you know what I'm saying, out that spirit, man. Okay, of, of, of what is it, you know what I'm saying, the brother speaking about being, being, being uncomfortable, man. Don't be comfortable, look, bro. Please don't be comforted in a plain way, man. You can do more for the Lord, man. Okay, uh, okay, oh, we all can, man. All right, Mr. got some? Yeah, I got some real quick. This uh, Ecclesiastes out of the book of Sirach, chapter 7 and 15. Mm. It says, Hate not laborers' work, neither husbandry, but the most high, which the most high hath ordained, man. So if you hate doing this work. This is what the most high ordained is and commissioned us to do, man. So you hating uh, 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 your sole purpose or your main job is what the most high sets you up to do. He didn't give you this knowledge so you can go uh, go uh, impress a, a, a Israelite girl. <laughs> he didn't give you this knowledge so you can go to the barber shop and look and look like a great guy, man. Oh, man, that dude deep. Mm. You ain't got it to impress Jake. You ain't got to say much, man. Cause Jake is impressed by stupid shit, man. But it says hating not laborers work, man, and you seeing that right now, man. 
you got dudes really mad because the apostle said, oh. do what you're supposed to do. Oh, man. What did you sign up for, man? What did you think this thing was about, man? Great millstone, the apostles are setting up teachers, man. Not parents, man. Not not cats to just stand there and hold a sign, man. Yeah. The scriptures tell you what? Covenant to prophesy, man. Yeah, Jake just sitting there saying, man, the apostle going hard. But yet he ain't going yeah. home. You a fan. Yeah, you got a fan in, man. Get your ass up out of here with that BS, man. Okay, this is Proverbs. Uh, brother got something. I don't want to skip my brother over, man. Have it. Yeah, I got some. Come on. This is uh, James chapter 2 and verse 17. Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. Mm. So if you got faith, you got to, you know what I'm saying, you got you to gotta put the work out there, man. You can say uh, you, you believe in your how about Shimmy al Shah, but if you ain't doing the work, man, nobody going to believe your ass, man. You know? And the most I see you, nigga. Yeah, are you scoffing and scorning, man? Y'all don't believe in the Lord, but y'all doing it for your own on on a belly sink, man. Out of envy. Yep. And strife. Okay, we're quick on a pro, uh, scripture. This is Proverbs 14 and verse 23. In all labor, there is profit, but the top of the lips tended only to penury. Okay? So the scriptures say, in all labor, there is profit, man. Okay? Are your job? You working? Okay, putting in work. What's going to happen? You're going to get paid, man. Okay? Whatever you put work in, there's going to be a profit out of that, man. Okay? A reward. So why hate labor is work, man? When you know that there's a reward for doing this thing, man. And the scripture says out of 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 15, the brother can grab their precept. They don't believe in a reward. Come on. They really don't trust in the reward. The reward. They trust in the rewards of Babylon. Come on. Yeah, I brother got that real quick. Yeah, our first Corinthians 15 58. I got it right here. Come. On. This uh first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Right? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmo unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh. Woo! Be ye steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Because that's how you stay rooted in Yahweh Shah by working. Okay? About believing, about grinding this thing out, man. Always looking forward to doing the work of the Lord, man. Right, keep reading, brother. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. For much but as you know, you know this, all right? All of us know this. That our labor is not in vain. Right, keep reading, brother. In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Because there is a reward for this, man. There is a reward. But you have, but look, bro, but you got to have faith, man. Okay? Because all of them want that crown. Well, they should know you gotta work for that crown, man. Look, bro, look, we're talking about serving your how about me our shot, man. This ain't easy, bro. This is not easy. Okay, the apostles of old gave their life for this thing, man. Why? Because they believed in it, man. And couldn't have stopped them but death, man. But now they back, bro. Are doing the same thing all over again, man. Okay. The same energy yep. received. Yep. The same hatred. <laughs> the same anger, the same envy, yeah. the same the same spirit of just rebellion to where you, you want to see a man put to death because he got the spirit of the Lord on him to put in the work and you don't, man. Right. So you're going to put your energy in just to being a demon, man. Mm. I got some. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Mm. As Yahweh shot, it says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work should be. You know? I had looked the word of reward in Strong's G3408. All right? Strong's G3408. It's thus. It says, dues pay for work, wages. All right? And then it has, in both senses, rewards and punishments. You know, mm -hmm. as the brother was saying, you know what I'm saying, it's supposed to be basically, you know what I'm saying, this is our job, our duty is to, uh, to preach the gospel. You know what I'm saying, this is our job. You know what I'm saying, and we, Lord coming back, you know what I'm saying, to issue out a, a, a reward or payment. You know what I'm saying, it's either going to be a, a, a righteous reward, you know what I'm saying, or you're going to get judgment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, man. So, so what do you do to work at night? You still gonna get a reward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what's tight? You gonna get a lump of coal, or you gonna get what you wanted, man? That's salvation. Right. That lump of coal gonna come in the form of a missile, uh, a pack of honey badgers, man. God. A fucking uh, 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 some hungry gnats eating your flesh alive. Mm. Whatever it may be, man. And if you get away from all that, there's gonna be a nuke waiting on you, man. Yeah, so Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 10 and 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand. Hmm. But the hand of the diligent maketh rich. And how we become rich in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. The more you put work in, the more the most high lift you onto a whole new level spiritually, man. But hmm. when you got slack hands, the most high not going to give you an increase through the spirit, man. Because hmm. you ain't showing no true love. You showing, you really just give it a show to respect the person. I don't want am just doing enough to get by in the sight of eye in, in the uh, eyes of men. Yeah. But where is your fear like? Not with the most high, man. And this is supposed to, this is a labor of love, man. Like I get as soon as I'm around brothers, man, I'm hyped up. Ready to go, man. Waiting on the next time we can get together, man. Fuck Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. We was lazy niggas in the world, man. Mm -hmm. With every excuse possible, man. Babylon give you every excuse to be lazy, man. That's what this place produces, man. Oh. There's some more on that, bro? I have a quick one. It's uh, Galatians chapter 6 and 9. It says, And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not, man. If we faint not, man. Cause this is not the thing about sprinting, man. It's a marathon, man. Mm -hmm. And when you, man, you, uh, you get into like uh, cross country and marathon running, man, it's more, it's more, it's a, it's a mental thing, man. Like you got to have a strong mind to be able to do that, man. And they whole uh, mindset is just getting across the line. You see some of them in the marathons when they do the triathlons and stuff like that, man. Them motherfuckers is like literally crawling across the line, man. Right. Now, a sprinter can't do that, man. And that's what you didn't have, man. That's what you got now. You got cats that came in uh, running uh, uh, four flats out the, out the damn, uh, uh, off the line, and then they got winded quick because they weren't prepared for the long haul, man. And this work is something that, man, says, let us not be weary and well-doing, man. This is all we're supposed to do is teach, man, study and teach, man. If you really love your brethren, you teach. If you love the most high of his son, you teach, man. You'll be active amongst the body, man. Don't nobody deal. You watching a, a bunch of construction workers uh, uh, putting up a house, and all you see is this one nigga sitting in the back eating sandwiches all day. Everybody gonna be like, man, we gotta get this nigga out of here, man. We don't. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't helping get the project done, man. And that's what the most high gonna do to niggas like that through the spirit, man. Gonna get rid of the ones who don't, man. You might be getting. Getting getting your videos in, or you showing up on the block, but your spirit ain't in it, man. Mm -hmm. And it said, "We shall reap in due season." And when the Most High got it said, "We shall reap if we not faint not, man." Okay. And right now, if a prophecy ain't got you excited, I don't know what to tell you. Every time you turn around, it's something else, man. Shit. <laughs> And it's just getting better and better and better. Like, man, hey, man, I ain't worried about Babylon right now, man. Right. Come on. This is a book of uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach 51 verse 29. It says, let your souls rejoice in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. Hmm. Work your work betimes and in his time he will give you your reward. So do the work, man. Work your work, man. Do what you got to do, because in the time that Yahweh got set for us to get the, uh, the reward, all right, of the kingdom of heaven, he's going to give it unto us, man. But you have to continue and keep pushing, man. One thing you don't want to do is give up on the Lord, man, because he didn't give up on your ass, all right, of the Lord Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what he had the same mentality of a nigga that shot the truth, man. Okay, he all, you know what I'm saying, uh, on the crowd with nails in his hand. He said, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to get down. Right. This shit down. hurt. <laughs> my goddamn head bleed. My eye hurt. My head, my back hurt. My arm hurt. Didn't even make it on the cross. So they put out the yeah. pain. Wait, 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 w
But that's what you niggas do. As soon as the fiction <laughs> come and it get real, oh, I'm hold up, nah. You, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I'm 29 Yeah. Tripping. No, I ain't signed up with that, bro. Goddamn. Bro, bro, can you imagine being back in the old, old time? All right, during the time of the book of Acts, man. The apostle against stone fucking throwing at them, man. People beating them with bats, bro. <laughs> we got it easy, man. The only thing we got to do is go to work, look ugly, and go on the goddamn highways and byways, man. <laughs> right. That's it. That's it, bro. They were getting their asses handed to them, man. They was under the threat of imminent death all day, every day, man. I get put in jail <laughs> for preaching the word, man. And, and look, uh, Jay complained about uh, giving up Saturday, bro. Jay complained about doing three videos, man. Like, like, <laughs> like, nigga left the truth because the apostle said, do three videos. Had brothers in the camp leaving because he had to do three videos a week. And Jay didn't agree with that. Jay gonna never agree with nothing, man. Yeah, disagreeable yeah. ass, stiff neck niggas. I, I always gotta please a nigga, man. Nobody's gonna change the truth around to fit your goddamn wants and needs, man. Get in with the program, man. Y'all know what time it is before you cross over and join the camp. All right, you already know what time it is, man, because you've been standing over there probably like a year and a half or something like that. You know what brother's about, man. You know what the truth about. Okay, watch the apostles in the edit. Nigga, look, you know what time it is. So once you cross over, you should give your all, man. Unto death, man, as the scriptures say, man. Scribe unto the... What do they say? Uh, what say? It says, ascribe uh, for the truth unto death. Uh, death, and the Lord shall fight for you, man. But see, Jake ain't got no faith, man. Okay, so brother got some? I got a quick one. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Second Andrew 7 and 14. If then, if then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those things that are laid up for them. So you can't, you okay. can't, you know, do the three videos a week. You know, uh, how is it has, you know, push this word. You can never receive those things that's laid up. Okay, you know, the, the reward that you have by not shy, got for the men who gonna do his work diligently. You know. Yeah. And that's the thing, really, man. Because the brother, the last scripture this brother read, it had a key word. Uh, we, bring it out first. Brother. All right. Uh, this book of Sirach, uh, fifty-one and twenty-nine. Let your soul rejoice in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. That's what I wanted right there. And be not ashamed of his praise, man. Y'all ashamed to speak uh, the testimony of Yahweh shot, man, which is prophecy, man. Y'all scared to put this work in and speak about the things to come. First off, because you really don't want to see it, man. You don't want to see martial law, man. Like, we, we pray for the day that this, this thing get kicked off, man. But you got niggas who scared of it, man, completely. I ain't saying we just gonna be standing stiff and there we're like we got an iron chin to to uh, to to Esau uh, guns and shit, man. When he kick your door in and beat your ass and drag you out the house which is in your drawers. But shit, we hasten in the day because we know that must happen for us to get into the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. But a uh, precept to go with the brother to finish the scripture out first. Come on. It says, let your soul rejoice in his mercy and be not ashamed of his praise. Uh, work your work the times, and in his time, he will give you your reward. In his time, he will give you his reward. It don't say nothing about when you ready, the most high going to give you what you want. Yeah. No, I said in his, do what you got to do, and I'm going to give it to you when I'm ready. But yeah. sit your ass down and teach. Or go back into the world, and I'll see you soon. But uh, it's a quick precept. This is uh, Luke chapter 9 and 26. It says, for whosoever shall be ashamed of me, and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers and in the holy angels. So when the Lord returned, he ain't going to uh, meet you like, you know what, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. I forgive you. Yeah. Nah, like the uh, apostle just put the video up the brother was talking about, man. Ain't no time for bullshit. It ain't been that time for bullshit. But now it's even that more crucial, man. How you going to feel? You, uh, 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 are you going to have confidence? If the Lord showed up tomorrow, would you have confidence, man? Yeah, ooh. Would you be like, I did everything I, uh, I could, man? And if you can't say yes, that means shit. The, the, the very next second, your mind supposed to change. If you're a spiritual man, you supposed to be able to get do right right away, man. It's not hard. Especially if you've been in this thing for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to just be able to just, it ain't no, 
oh, I got to get my shit together. Just fucking do it. Yep. I bring that pre sale. That pre sale. Okay. This is 2 Peter um, 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligent to make your calling and election sure. That's beautiful. That's For right on time. Start from the top one more time. I have a Bible shot. This is 2 Peter 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligent, diligent to make your calling and election sure. Hey, real quick, and, and how did he start off? Who he's talking to? He said, my brethren, man. Mm -hmm. and who is our brother, man? Who is our mother, our father? Real quick, somebody get that in the uh, last, uh, last verse of uh, Matthew, chapter 12. You, you good, yeah, man. That's what we say. Because that's what we focus on, man, the elect. When we speaking, we're not speaking to all Israel. We're not speaking to niggas uh, wearing purple shirts. Yeah. If they be part of the elect, that's beautiful, and Lord willing, they come out of that shit soon. But we focus, we, we focus on the men that the Most High got sent, man, which we don't know. But, like, man, you get caught up on small shit, worrying about your views, man. If you get one view, that could have been a member of the elect that you reached, man. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to that nigga Ooh. Element, you fucking nigga. Tried to, when he was doing his little plea and calling everybody individually, and was like uh, trying to follow what I'm doing. I'm like, well, shit, brothers, do the work. And he was like, wow, I'm starting. Uh, I start another page. And I said, what's the, what's the name of your page then? Oh, if I gotta ask you, if you gotta ask me, then and I ain't gonna even tell you. That's, That's tell me enough right there. Yeah, some brothers wasn't watching my videos, so I took them down. Nigga, you was a fucking. You got weak, man. Mm. Your pride was too high, and you couldn't take correction, man. Damn. You couldn't take correction, man. How weak is that? Brothers wasn't watching my videos, so I took them down, man. Because you ashamed of your Howard shot, man. Proud ass nigga. Come on, I got a precept. As you said that, uh, uh, this you is. Got the, let's get that Matthew. Okay, real quick. okay. Salaki, Salaki, brother. Uh, Matthew 12 and 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. That's from plain and to the point, man. That's who our family, real family is. This my family right here, man. My, my so-called blood family, they don't give a shit about me. I could call any one of these brothers and they gonna stop what they doing and, and, and be there for me, man. Same uh, same I do for them, man. And that, that's when you know you got real around real brothers, man. You got these niggas always doing these videos talking about brotherhood and we gonna strengthen the unity of Israel. Man, y'all it's a bunch of niggas, man. Just trying to make the be, be Israel uh, Israelites in Babylon, man. But uh, finish that out and then Come. get your precept. Come. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. That's it. If you do these things, man, put in the work to make sure when the Lord returns, shit, you good. Yeah, it's a thing of faith. You ain't gonna. You just got to seal, but you are gonna have confidence to be like, man, look, I gave it all up. For the Lord, man. I gave it all up for you, just like he did for us, man. And you shall not fall. If that was it, you got us on now. Come. On. Uh, real quick, I got two, two quick precepts. You know, to so going to being ashamed, man. All right, this is uh, 1 John 2 and 28. And now that the children abide in him, meaning what? Do the work. Endure. Stay true to the doctrine. That when he shall appear... We may have confidence mm. and not be ashamed before him at his coming. As the brother we're going into, man. If you're doing the work and you believe in your house, shot my shot, man. Uh, look, bro, uh, when he come back, uh, you're going to have confidence, man. Because you know that you did everything that the Lord told you for to do, man. All right, according to the gift and the grace that he has given you, man. Okay? Doing what you got to do, man. And uh, not being ashamed, man. Okay? Because some Jay can't go on camera, man. All right, yeah. they don't want about to see him. Yeah, they're an avatar. Yeah, yeah, I got that avatar, man. Tripping. Yeah, no videos, Ooh. but he all over the comment board. Through, man. Look, bro, that make no sense, man. Grown has been afraid to come out and preach the word of the Heavenly Father, man, because they afraid somebody's going to see him. I don't give a fuck who see me, man. I don't care who see me, man. God damn it, I want you to see me. 
They did. Why are you yeah. worried? That's like walking by and oh, shit, them zombies looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it don't matter to me, bro, because look, let's see, let's see, look, let's see, look. I want you to see me so that you can you can say, you know what? This man was for real. This man doing it. Ain't your blood gonna be out my hands, man. Because if your way saw me teaching, you ain't trying to take heed, you ain't trying to do nothing about it, man. Okay, are you didn't consider, man? Because you think this thing is a joke. Yeah. But you can't be ashamed for the Lord, man. Alright? I don't give a damn, man. Okay, look, my damn look, my damn chin is fucked up, man. And every day I wake up pissed the fuck off because my chin messed up, man. Every time I get on camera, I be ashamed, man. But I know I can't turn around and say, you know what? I'm just gonna not do the work until my chin get fixed. Fuck that shit, man. People ask them to come in, boy, all the time. Oh, uh, damn, bro, what's wrong with your chin? I don't never say nothing back. Cause that's a, first of all, what the fuck is man? Edification is coming now, out. Yeah, and I don't need to worry about it, my chin. I don't give a fuck about that shit though. But see, Jacob take that little small infirmity in the flesh and, and got them used it not to do the work, man. Okay, but to hell with how you look, man. They come on all different issues. Yeah, man. man. I remember we had a nigga in, in the Houston camp. This nigga did he left on his own because the head of the camp at the time told him, uh, you don't be wasting your time trying to pitch a damn truck in a car show. And the nigga got emotional and disappeared, man. Mm. Saw the nigga smoking a cigarette in the bar one night, man. That's what happened to you when you when you uh when you leave the most high, man. You had a black woman ponytail and you smoked cigarettes in the bar. Playing poker with Esau. Oh, that's what happened when you turn your back on the most high, man. And that's just the beginning of the destruction he got for your ass because you wouldn't continue or uh, uh finish the agreement that you made, man. Come on. Uh, priest of he's done. Yeah, yeah, uh, matter of fact, who are the uh, same priest of man? Uh, 2 and uh, 10. What, what you got? 2 Timothy 2 and 10. No, I had 2 Timothy 1. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. come. The water. Uh, this 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7, it says, For Yahweh has not given us the spirit of fear, mm. but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner. Is what? Nor of me his prisoner. So do a prisoner just have free range to get up and do what they want, man? Hey, guard, open the cell. I'm leaving. Yeah.